from Trinidad and Tobago, we have on the line a journalist from CCN TV6, Jabari Fraser. Jabari, thanks for taking the time to chat with us. Can you hear me? No problem, I can hear you very loud and clear. How are you? I just have to say it's, it's, it's amazing hearing your Trinidadian accent right now. I'm so happy to talk with you. <laughs> yes, yes, I can imagine. <laughs> now, Jabari, it has seemingly been the opinion on the ground in TNT for a long time that the two leading political parties have inspired more of a racially based support other than one based on policy. Firstly, do you get a sense that that is changing? Um, I can tell you, no, that is not changing. It doesn't say that that might be changing anytime soon. Uh, you know, even though this election, many different issues of government uh, were heavily in rotation and were discussed uh, significantly by both major political parties. Apart from the issues of government that we discussed, of course, you had issues of policy that we discussed, but much of the election campaigning was very, uh, very much focused on issues of race, issues of, of, of one party versus the other, and those were things that traditionally appear in Trinidad and Tobago politics at election time. That's sad to hear. But, well, there's been intense campaigning over the past few weeks with the ruling party accusing the opposition of not having a manifesto. Have both, both manifestos been released? And how, and if so, how do they differ from each other? Well, uh, the manifestos differ significantly from each other in the, uh, by way of what they focus on. One, the People's Partnership Manifesto, which is the current government manifesto, uh, focuses very much on infrastructure, uh, on physical things, such as the building of hospitals, the distribution of laptop computers for students, uh, tablets for students at the university level, and so on. And the opposition, opposition focuses heavily on issues of governance, I can say, because there are plans to set up a general accounting office, look at campaign finance legislation, look at local, local government reforms, and several other different things. Uh, and as I said, while these issues appear in the manifestos and are important in, you know, in, in the sense that they provide a roadmap for, for what each party intends to do should they come to government, uh, you know, the main issues have been uh, focused very much on attacking the other party, on uh, talking about race, talking about undecided voters, of which there is a, a significant portion of, of posters estimate that there is about 30% of the electorate that, uh, you know, is pretty much undecided and very much disenchanted with the, the current system. And I would, I would assume that that is exactly why um, there has been a fight to get more young people, to get younger people to come out and vote because of this seeming racial war, I guess. Um, on another topic, um, today I saw online that there's a claim that there has been some uh, political campaigning happening today, which is against the rules. Um, can you clarify whether these claims are true? These claims have been made by uh, by the party that's in opposition right now, basically, the People's National Movement, and uh, the Prime Minister's um, Prime Minister's party, her coalition party, has been sending out text messages, uh, or allegedly been sending out text messages. Uh, asking various people, the receivers of the text, to support a party. And uh, they, there was also a mailing list that, uh, and people on the list have been receiving email messages asking for support and so on. Uh, so the rules allegations have been passed on to the police by the opposition party, and uh, we wait to see what comes out of those investigations. Jabari, I know there are a couple independent cabinet ca uh, candidates out right now who are hoping to change how governing, government is viewed, um, considering how people are so at, at, at odds in terms of the ruling government and the opposition government. Um, how, what influence do you think these independent candidates can or will have? I don't think they will have much of an influence because uh, in Trinidad and Tobago, as we've been seeing, the, the politics based on race is, is what supersedes everything else at election time. And even uh, someone, a figure as controversial and, and as popular at the same time as Jack Warner, his independent Liberal Party, I don't think it will have too much of an impact 
on the, the outcome of this general election, even though he's still quite popular in Trinidad and Tobago, his party, uh, you know, his party isn't too popular among uh, among all voters, among many parts of the electorate, and I, I don't think that his party will have too much of a, a significant impact on what happens later this evening. Now, you just brought up the word Jack, the word Jack Warner. I just want to ask you a whole barrage, barrage of other questions now, but we've run out of time. Thank you so much, Jabari. Again, it's great hearing your accent. Thanks for being here with us.